Welcome back to another F4 Lap Guide. This week, we're at Suzuka, which is a mega fun track, but it's super challenging. And because you're trail breaking into so many corners, you're really working the rear tires. Now, normally when I make these lap guides, I use the VRS weather conditions, which is a pretty good guess as to what the weather will be like for the race. However, this week, the track temp was super high, about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So it felt like the rear tires were basically melting anytime I tried to push for a lap. This made it super frustrating because I was basically underdriving the car the entire lap, just trying not to spin. So I made the executive decision to change the weather conditions to reduce the track temperature, but leave the ambient temperature the same. This meant that I could finally push for a full lap and test the limits of this F4 car around Suzuka. So let's hope the weather conditions are more similar to this lap than to the VRS conditions. All right, without any further ado, let me walk you through a fast lap. Coming across the line, as we hurtle down the front straight into a series of two very challenging right-hand corners. We're actually using the first right-hand corner as a braking zone for the second right-hander. And because we're braking as we're turning in the sequence, we have to be very gentle with how we lift off the throttle and how we apply the brakes. Additionally, since we're essentially trail braking all the way through this corner, I set my brake bias to 61% to help stabilize the rear of the car. So just at this access road on the left-hand side, we're gonna be turning in. And we're gonna to aim to miss this first apex by about a car's width because that will allow us to brake more in a straight line and help us keep the car more stable. So just before this curbing begins on the right-hand side, we're gonna be slowly lifting off the throttle and gently applying the brakes. As you can see, we're only applying the brakes to about 30% pressure. And we're gonna drop it down into fourth gear using this curbing on the left-hand side and trail braking all the way into the second apex. And as we get into the second apex, we can see there's a ton of banking, but we're gonna lose grip as we come out of the exit of this corner because the road will fall away from us. And as we come out of this corner and out of that compression, the car starts to understeer. I just have to slightly lift off as I'm losing grip. We're able to collect it, just touch our left side tires on that curbing there and set up a series of very fast sweeping corners. For me, the key of the sequence is trying to not overload the front tires or the rear tires. So that means I'm gentle with my steering application and I'm gentle with my inputs. The first left-hander is flat out, and we're aiming to clip our left side tires on this green curbing inside of the red and white curbing. We're keeping it tight to the left-hand side before immediately turning right, and we're lifting off the gas as we turn right to help bring the nose of the car in towards the apex and to keep us from understeering. As soon as we get to this apex though, we're gonna be hard on the throttle. So we're hard on the throttle again, not using all of the road on the left-hand side, immediately bring the car back to the right-hand side to set up another fast left-hander. We're gonna be again lifting off as we turn in to bring the nose in towards the apex, aiming to touch our left side tires on this green curbing inside of the red and white curbing. Hard on the throttle over that apex, bringing us over to the right hand side of the road and setting up the most challenging and the most critical corner of this sequence. This corner is off camber, meaning we're gonna be losing grip as we go through it. The car's gonna really wanna understeer through here. So it's gonna be really important for us to roll speed through the corner and to not ask too much from the front or the rear tires. So we're turning in and braking just about here. A very, very, very slight brake though. Again, trying not to cause the car to understeer or to oversteer. We're keeping it tight to the apex and slowly getting the throttle as we get to the apex. Past this apex though, we're hard on the throttle, trying to carry as much speed as we can onto this straight. We're using all of the road on the exit leaving it in fourth gear, trying to get a late apex on this curbing on the left-hand side. So important that we're flat on the throttle through this left-hander though. So in some cases, you might need to decrease your exit speed on the previous right-hander to make sure that you can be flat through this left-hander. We're into fifth gear through the first two sectors cleanly, coming into a very challenging double right-hand sequence. For the first corner, we're leaving it in fifth gear and just giving a quick jab of the brakes and a trail brake into the apex. And then for the second corner, we're braking slightly harder and dropping it down into fourth gear. For this first right-hander, we're aiming to brake just before this 50 board in front of us, and we're aiming to miss the apex curb with our right side tires. So just a slight jab of the brakes, trail braking into the apex, trying to miss that curbing, and getting hard on the throttle as we get through the apex, just touching our left side tires on that red and white curbing, not going further over onto the green curbing. 
but we're immediately breaking for the next right-hander, down into fourth gear, a harder jab of the brakes, trail breaking into the apex, but getting hard enough throttle through the apex, as we can see there's banking that will give us extra grip. As you come out of that banking though, again, we lose grip, a slight kick of oversteer, you need to be ready for that. But we're hard enough throttle, we're not trying to go too far over to this exit curbing because the car will bottom out, you will lose speed coming out of the corner and lose speed all the way down the straight. And fourth gear, fifth gear into an easy flat out right hander that sets up a critical hairpin. It's a really hard break into this hairpin, trail breaking all the way into the apex. But as is characteristic with this car, since this is a low speed corner, it wants to oversteer. So I begin applying the throttle very early on through the corner to help balance the rear of the car and to minimize the oversteer through the apex. So right about here, it's a hard brake down into second gear. And as I said, we're already applying the throttle to help balance the rear of the car and to keep it from oversteering through the apex. As we get to about here though, we're hard on the throttle, second, third gear, using all of that curbing on the exit keeping the car tight to the right-hand side through this right-hander. We are clean through the first half of the lap, but we're heading into a super challenging double apex left-hander. So initially, it's a quick jab of the brakes down into fourth gear, but then through the mid corner, I'm not getting fully back to throttle, only to about 40%. What makes this corner so challenging is that it's off camber. So we want to have as few inputs as we can to keep the car from understeering. So to set up this braking zone, I'm looking for this patch of dirt just after this access road on the right-hand side. I'm braking right about here, down into fourth gear, and after that quick jab of the brakes, I'm immediately back on throttle, but as I said, only to about 50%. We're bringing the car over to the right-hand side, but I'm being very conscious of applying as little throttle as I can and applying as little brake as I can to help roll speed through the corner and to keep the car from understeering. So right about here, we begin peeling off the throttle again, and then I do something that's super rare for me in this car. I'm off both throttle and brake on entry. Again, just trying to roll speed through the corner and be as gentle on this car as I can. And as we get towards the second apex, I begin applying a bit more throttle, rolling back into the throttle, hard enough throttle as we come through the exit, a little kick of oversteer that I'm able to save, using all that exit curbing. Be careful, there is a 1x off track that's super annoying there on the exit curb, but we were perfect on that exit curb coming into 130R, which is a fast left-hander, but very easy. We're just looking up for the 50 board on the right-hand side. And just at this 50 board, we're gonna slowly turn in, trying to scrub as little speed as possible. You wanna miss that curbing on the exit because it's so easy to spin out, but we are already into the final braking zone on the lap. I'm looking for the 100 meter board in front of us, and we're braking just before that. It's a hard brake, only down into third gear though, and we're aiming to clip our right side tires on this apex curbing hard on the throttle before immediately peeling off and turning left, trying to miss this apex curb on the left-hand side because we want to get on the throttle as early as we can, and if we hit this apex curbing, it will shoot us wide, meaning we have to lift off the throttle, and then we lose speed all the way down the straight. So just barely kissing that apex curb, hard on the throttle, using all the curbing on the right-hand side, keep the car tight to the right-hand side, let's minimize that distance travel, let's minimize that lap time, and we come across the line to set a 201.145 Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you continue to have a great week of racing. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the support. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.